Hey everyone, it's Chris D here, C Drum 30 on YouTube, and today I am talking about something that I get asked a lot about, peels and masks and home facials, okay? So, the big thing is peels. I know you can go on Amazon.com, which I actually went on and bought this peel, and you can buy pretty much any peel that a professional would buy. Now, that's good and it's bad because what that means is people are going out and buying these peels and not knowing what they are, how to use them, or which ones to get. So I'm going to explain a little bit about peels and what to do and what not to do. So like I said, I bought this off of Amazon.com. Now keep in mind, I'm a licensed esthetician, so I know what I was looking for. This is a compound peel from Skin, Pe Skin Peel MD. It's a really good one, but it's also a very strong one. Now I put it on, and I do peels all the time, and I put it on, and after about two minutes, my face is red, and I'm just going, Ugh. So this is not something that someone who doesn't know what they're doing should buy, okay? Because it has all acids in it. It has glycolic, it has salicylic, it has TCA in it, it has resorcinol, it has, I mean, it's a, a major peel. In my opinion, it should not even be sold on Amazon because it's just too many people have the potential to buy this and, and mess their skin up. So, my number one thing that I'm going to recommend is stay at a low percentage. Do not go up at a high percentage and don't think a higher percentage is better because it absolutely is not, especially if you haven't done a peel before because what's going to happen is you're going to put a strong peel on and it's going to really, really, really burn your skin and peel off everything and you're not used to it. So start small. Start with a 10% glycolic salicylic peel. That's a basic one. It's going to do the job and you're going to have no downtime and no excessive peeling, okay? Mark my words. Start there and build up, okay? You can always go to a stronger one later. Trust me on this. 10% it's the way to go. Now, there's different types of acids. I'm not going to get into all the different types, but there is a glycolic, there's a salicylic, there's a lactic. You can get them all separate or you can get them all together. It really depends on what you want to do and how deep of a peel you want. So it really depends on the person. Again, something like this, a compound peel that has a whole bunch of different acids is much better for someone who's very oily, very acne prone, maybe has cystic acne, and something like this, which is from Clear Choice, which is a great brand. I don't think they're sold on Amazon, though. Good for them. And this is a lactic peel, but it's a 70%. So again, as a professional, I can use a 70% because I know what to expect. Someone that doesn't know what they're doing, do not buy a 70% peel, I'm telling you. You will really damage, permanently, potentially damage your skin, okay? so. Again, start low. Don't do something that has a whole bunch of different acids in it. Get one that has either just glycolic or just salicylic, okay? And now I'm gonna take you into my bathroom and I'm gonna show you exactly how to apply the peel, what masks to use, and what products to use afterwards. Okay guys, I'm back and yes, I am shirtless. I took my shirt off because I'm always spilling stuff. When I do these tutorials about facials, I always spill things, so. There you go. Um, what I'm going to do to start off, of course, you wash your face. That's step one when you're doing a, a facial peel. Step two, believe it or not, you're going to take some isopropyl alcohol and you're going to take that and you're going to put it all over your face. What this is going to do is it's going to strip all of the oil off of your face because oil will actually inhibit the product from working. So what you want to do is just go all over Ooh, it's making my eyes water, okay. And that's what you want to do. So, you let that dry, okay, all good. Next step is the actual peel itself. So then I'm gonna take the peel, I do a stronger one, and I'm not showing you which one it is because I don't want people going online and getting it. But get a very mild peel, a 10%, okay? That's what I want you to do, doctor's orders, even though I'm not a doctor. So you take that peel, a very small amount, and do one swipe all over your face, just like I'm doing. One swipe on every area, 
just like that. If you need to put more on, you can always go back, okay? So keep it really simple, basic. Right now, I'm not feeling much, which is really good. You don't want to feel so intense that your eyes are watering, okay? That's not what a home peel is about. So it's working. I can tell. I can feel it tingling a little bit. That's what it's all about. So I'm going to leave this on for about two minutes. That's all you do. You do one swipe. If you do more, you're possibly going to over process your skin and over exfoliate it and burn your face, which that's not what we want to do. Okay. So I'm at about a minute and 30 seconds. So now I'm going to rinse it off, not with soap, but I'm just going to rinse it off really well with, uh, with warm water and then I'll be right back. Ah, okay, yes, I look a little different now, I know. So what I did was I rinsed off my face. I did not wash it off. I just rinsed it off with water to deactivate that, that peel. And now what I have on is a calming, hydrating mask that's going to help to replace uh, the lipids and, and just give, give a, a good barrier on my skin so I have a little bit of protection. This one is from Alginus. This is the um, Algae Brightening Mask. Love it, love it, love it. You can get this at Sephora and it's uh, I think $59. Really great mask. It's really, really nourishing and that's what you want to do after you do a peel like this is you don't want to just strip, strip, strip and put a whole bunch of aggressive products on top. You want to do a nice mask that's going to help to brighten, even out the skin tone, moisturize, hydrate, and then you, again, you want to put a serum on, which helps, um, I don't know which one I'm going to use, I might use this one from Trophy Skin, it's an Argon Stem Cell Serum, okay, so you don't have to worry about uh, using products that are too emollient or too moisturizing, because you really want to use a nice moisturizing product after doing a peel, okay? So it's really important to do that. And then put a moisturizer on, and then as I said, put a moisturizer and then a sunscreen on, and that's what I'm going to do. So, there we go, and I'm going to have nice, glowing, beautiful, gorgeous, radiant skin once I'm done with this whole process, okay? I'm going to set this on for about 15 minutes. I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so now I'm all washed. The next step is you put a serum on. I like to use this serum. Again, this is a professional serum, but you can use any one that you like that's really good for your skin tone. This one is from a company called Clear Choice, and I really like that. So you put a little bit on, you put it all over the face. I like to pat it in just like that feels really good and then you want to put a moisturizer on and then you want to put on top of that you want to put your uh, sunscreen especially if you're going outside uh, peels actually make you really sensitive to the sun okay so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put my post care protectant on which is a moisturizer and again do any moisturizer that you like that works for your skin type and then Put your SPF on. I prefer this one. This is from Alginus SPF 50 broad spectrum and does not make me look gray, which is a good thing. So there you go. So that's the last step is you put your sunscreen on and if you're not going outside, then you don't have to put sunscreen on. But just remember that peels really, really sensitize your skin and you have no protection, no natural protection. So you have to be really careful to not go out in the sun after you've had a peel or you can permanently damage your skin. Okay? Mwah. This is Chris D, C Drum 30 on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe.